Hi, welcome back to Living with Lisa. I'm so grateful that you are tuning in. Today, I wanted to go over a few of my favorite poses to practice during the full moon. So this will help you harness the incredible powers that the full moon brings. It brings up a lot of emotion at that time. Things need to be cleared and cleansed so that we're ready for the next cycle to come. So these poses we're gonna go over today, they really help to open up the heart, open up our channels of communication. Sometimes the full moon brings up stuff that maybe we don't want to address, but the reason we practice yoga is so we have the tools to either breathe through it, meditate through it, or just channel that positive energy to, to take us through to the other side because those things are gonna come up at one point or another, so we might as well deal with them right away rather than have them buried. So we're gonna deal with some poses today. We're gonna deal with some emotions today. We're gonna open up, open up our hearts and we're also gonna bow down and show gratitude for the amazing Luna moon that is gonna shine super bright on us on November 30th. And you can do these poses for any full moon, um, but you can also do them the day before or the day of. Usually any kind of manifestations or prayers around full moon are good for two days before or two days after. So feel free to use these poses, channel that amazing full moon energy that will be blessed upon us or just do these poses anytime to open up your heart and open up your body to these amazing celestial powers. All right, let's get started, namaste. Okay, so our first series of poses are gonna be the fundamental warrior poses with a slight twist to adapt to the full moon. So we'll raise our hands up and work on sasana, pull forward, come and walk to a plank, Push back to downward dog. Lift my right leg up. Bring it between my hands. Pivot the left leg down. Come up into a warrior one. Let's take a couple breaths here. On the inhale, I'm gonna clasp my hands behind my back. Exhale. Inhale. Pull my arms, straighten them out. Opening my chest. We're gonna go into a humble warrior here. So bringing my shoulder to the inside of my right knee, relaxing my head, letting my arms come as far over and close to the floor as they can go, keeping that bend in my right leg, keeping my hips facing forward. Again, letting the head hang. On your next inhale, you're gonna come up back into warrior one. Let's take a quick warrior two to open up those hips. And we're gonna re reverse the warrior. Sink deep into that right hip. Shine that heart open and up to the sky. Thank you to the full moon. Feel its power and its blessings. Keep breathing. On the next inhale, come back into warrior two. And wiggle your arms down. Take a vinyasa plank into lower plank. Upward dog and downward dog. You can walk or jump to the front of your mat. Keeping your hands down, look halfway up. Full forward, exhale, and inhale, look up all the way up, and bring your hands down to Mountain Pose, Sama Siti Ki. Awesome. And then we'll do that on the left side. You guys can do that on your own. Okay, so the next pose we're going to do in honor of the full moon and to harness its powers is half moon. So you'll see why it really opens up the chest, it reaches up to the skies. So we're really opening, reaching, grounding, rooting uh, to receive all that amazing power and chronicle from the full moon. So we'll take a step out with our left foot. You're gonna bring your left hand down about six inches diagonal from your left foot, maybe a little higher. And then you're gonna kick off with your back foot. Bringing your right arm up. 
looking up to the sky and maybe even reaching back, pulling on that top leg, opening up that heart, honoring your half moon. From here, you'll let go, rotate your hips down, bring your knees back, come up into a half lunge. Maybe walk your foot a little bit further out so that you get a nice 90 degree angle in your front leg. And it's really about rounding down here, pushing your hips forward, getting them to go as low as you can. You can see here, I've got my hands on my sacrum, on my lower back to help guide my hips down. And if this feels good and solid, you wanna lift your hands up Looking up at your hands, you can bring your hands to a prayer at your third eye and bring your elbows shoulder width apart and just look back, lean back, getting a nice back bend in here. Keep breathing in and out through the nose. On the inhale, come up. Come into a plank, a vinyasa, lower plank into upward dog, back into downward dog. Take a couple breaths here. Step or jump to the top of your mat. Look up, inhale, exhale, fold. Come all the way up. Now do that on the other side. Opened up our back a little bit on that last low lunge pose. So now we're gonna go even deeper into the back bends because this is amazing for opening up your chest, opening up your solar plexus, and even your third eye and your crown chakra. So we're really activating all of our chakras here in the upper body and opening up our chest and opening up our hearts to the full moon. So the first one we're gonna do is camel. So you'll keep your knees about hips width distance apart and you wanna make sure your hips stay directly over your knees. So that's really important. Then you'll bring your hands around to your sacrum to give you that support and make sure that your back is protected. Engage the lower belly, super, super important. Taking a big inhale, looking up at the ceiling and just following the ceiling line as far back as you can go, looking back, looking back, pushing your hips forward as much as possible. Maybe from here, you reach back and grab your heels and just letting the head hang. Reminder to bring your hips forward. Breathing here. The next inhale, bring your hands back to your sacrum and slowly lift all the way up. Just sit back on your heels. Take a moment, let that back bend settle in. Like full moons bring up a lot of emotion, so do back bends. And it brings up our fight or flight response. And we can either fold and crumble and come out of the pose, or we continue to breathe through it. And that's part of the beauty of yoga, part of the beauty of back bends, is showing us that we can breathe through things and get through things a lot easier than if we just give up right away. So, that said, let's try some standing back bends. So, I'm gonna do the same thing I did here, shoulder width, feet are shoulder width distance apart, looking up, and bending back, looking back. Inhale, come up. Big breath, close your eyes, feel the shift in energy in your body. We'll do that again. This time, we'll bring our hands up and reach back. Mm -hmm. 
That felt amazing. I think I'm ready for the full moon. I hope you guys are, and I hope you have a blessed day, and namaste, we'll see you soon.